What's up guys, 70 Savage here. It is a beautiful Saturday morning and today we are going to be adding some sound deadening material to the inside of our van. All right, so there's a couple choices you have when you wanna pick out the material that you're gonna use for sound deadening your van. Uh, the most popular material on the internet that I've seen is called Dynamat. Um, when I was doing my research, I was about to purchase some Dynamat and in the recommended products on Amazon, this stuff, Noiko, popped up um, and it had some pretty good ratings. So I started looking into this product and how it compares to Dynamat. Um, and it's pretty much the same stuff. Uh, you know, they have slight differences for how they've created each of the products, but this one uh, seems to be just as good, if not better, than Dynamat. And uh, it was about a third of the price. Um, normally, I'm not one to cheap out on stuff, but I do recognize when you're overpaying simply for a brand name, and that seemed to be the case with the Dynamat just due to how expensive this stuff was. Um, so I went ahead and ordered this Noiko stuff. Uh, I also got a Noiko roller, and this is what it looks like. So you open the box, which first of all, I was not expecting this stuff to be as heavy as it is. I mean, both these boxes here, I got two of them. Um, way like I'd say over 50 pounds together it's ridiculously heavy so you get a few sheets of this material uh, it feels like a big piece of like metal essentially it feels kind of like a magnet it's pretty thin um, but it's really dense and heavy um, I think each one of these boxes was around 70 bucks if I remember correctly uh, but I'll put links for to this product in the description and uh, you guys will be able to buy it yourself. All right, so this is everything you're gonna need to install the sound deadener. Um, I have the sound deadener itself. I have a pair of gloves, um, so isopropyl alcohol to clean the surfaces uh, before I apply the sound deadener, cloth to put that uh, alcohol on, a pen to kind of mark out how I need to cut these things, and then some uh, heavy duty scissors here to cut the material. Um, that on top of the uh, Noiko branded roller that I found online um, to specifically apply this stuff is everything you're going to need. All right, so I'm about halfway through of applying the sound deadening material and uh, just wanted to stop to go over some of the gotchas. Um, there pretty much are not any gotchas. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I guess the only other tool that I needed that I didn't list in the beginning is a measuring tape um, to kind of measure out some of the more awkward cavities, like the triangular shaped ones. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep on cracking.
All right, guys, the job is complete. We have covered a lot of this van, uh, more than I've seen other videos on sound, de sound deadening installation uh, cover. So, give you guys an overview. I got most of the panels, um, most of the space inside the panels, that is. We got the whole ceiling. Most of these panels, some of them I put the, uh, the factory paneling back over because I'm gonna travel with some stuff in here. Um, but yeah, got the wheel wells. Three, four pieces total on each wheel well. I think that's really important, a lot of sound comes from there. But overall, I'd say really easy install. Uh, the only gotcha is bring headphones because it takes a really long time. I think this took me about five hours total, five or six hours, uh, which is way longer than I thought it would take me. And it was kind of boring at some point. So <laughs> bring your headphones, get a good playlist to listen to, a good podcast. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.